Hi guys, I have another first impressions video today on a foundation. This is the Acne Fighting Foundation and it says it's flawless coverage formula that helps prevent and treat acne. But my skin is like so shit right now, but that's actually kind of completely my fault, so I don't blame it. This is in the shade Porcelain. I do have dry skin, especially on my nose and under eye area. A lot of times foundation doesn't sit well on top of the skin and just makes it look extra lizardy. So yeah, we're just gonna apply this, wear it all day, and check back at the end of the day, see how it lasted. So let's get started. So on my face right now, I have the Body Shop Vitamin C Moisturizer. This has SPF 30 in it. The foundation itself doesn't have any SPF in it, so that's something to keep in mind. So I'm gonna go in with a primer. I'm gonna use the Nivea Men Post Shape Balm. If you're confused to why I'm wearing this, um, then you probably don't know who Nikki Totoro is. But um, if you do, then you've probably heard of this a million times. But basically, this is actually a really good priming product for very, very cheap since it's like so huge. Um, the reason why it's really good is because the second ingredient in this product after water is glycerin, which is a very sticky ingredient that makes your makeup last and adhere to your face all day. To apply the foundation, I'm going to use two methods. One side of my face, I will be using the Morphe M439 brush. And the other side, I'll be using my damp beauty blender. Whoa! Oh shit, it's a lot. Oh wow, it's like a thicker texture than I thought it would be. I don't know why I thought it would be like thin. So I guess what I'm really... It smells kind of fresh. Um, so I guess what, what I'm really looking for in this foundation is first and foremost coverage because I assume when you have really bad acne, you want good coverage. And secondly, I want to see how it kind of um, deals with my, my active acne at the end of the day. I want to see how like it's made it worse or it, did it irritate it or did it calm it, you know? So it's really creamy to blend out and it actually blends out very, very well. It does have really good coverage just right off the bat. On some of my like healing acne, it is accentuating the dryness just a tiny bit, but not too bad. This is a new pimple coming up. We'll see if the foundation has any effect on it at the end of the day. It's really like a moussey texture. Pounce. This is in the shape porcelain, by the way. I think it's quite dark for being porcelain. What do you think? I do think the Beauty Blender gives, gives it a little bit more coverage. And it looks nicer, I think. It looks like less dry. So I, I'm gonna say I prefer the Beauty Blender. So I'm just gonna layer up a little bit on some of the spots I still see visible. Like right here. Just a little bit more on my nose. I always do that anyway. Okay, I think I'm done. First impressions, I am very impressed. I think it's um, really good coverage and it does make my face look pretty flawless. The coverage, I would say, is like a solid medium onto almost full. I'm sure you can layer it up to be full. You definitely look like you have, you know, some sort of like airbrush effect on. It doesn't look natural, but it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look cakey or anything. Coverage is good. So here is a closer look. And you can see my nose. Looks pretty good, right? More forehead. It's like definitely not flat matte, but it's a little bit of a sheen. Okay, so I'll go finish my makeup and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I finished my makeup. It looks really flawless on my cheeks. It is settling, it's settling a little bit into like the crevices of my nose. I didn't really set with a powder. I just applied my bronzer, contour, blush, like regular stuff, which they all went on pretty well. It is definitely a more heavy duty foundation, so it doesn't look like your skin. If you look up close, there are some areas where it just kind of looks like it's sitting on top of your skin. So this is what it looks like up close. Okay, so I'm going to wear this foundation for the rest of today, and at the end of the night, I will be back and give you an update. Hi guys, so I'm just going to do a voiceover for this part because that day I actually fell asleep with the foundation on and at this point you see in the footage I've had this foundation on probably for about 20 hours and I'm whispering in this clip so you can barely hear me. Um, in terms of the active breakout that I had on my forehead, it didn't make it any worse, so that's pretty good. In terms of coverage, it looks really good on my cheeks. The coverage is still there after so many hours, but if you look up close in this clip here, you can see the patchiness 
on my nose, which is kind of how it was the most of the day. Um, you can see a little bit of oil here, but I mean, that was after 20 hours. Um, overall, I think it is a really good medium and full coverage foundation for a very cheap price. One thing I do have to say, though, is that the lightest shade is pretty dark. So if you're really fair, you probably won't do well with this foundation. I don't know how it would treat my acne, but it definitely didn't make it worse. And it had really good coverage. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! This is by far way better guys. I'm just gonna be honest. It's just way better. It makes the skin feels nicer too. It leaves it less dry feeling and it takes off absolute Hi. Hello there. Hi. How are you? Good. Do you have a table for two?